यहां लोकतंत्र सबको बोलने का अधिकार है राद्रो को हम कंप्लीटली रिपील करें मान्यवर Before we hear the country's Home Minister Amit Shah in detail, let's first present a sedition report card and ask a consequent question. The National Crime Records Bureau started collecting data on sedition cases in the same year Prime Minister Narendra Modi came to power, which is 2014. Since that year until 2020, 399 sedition cases were filed across the country. The year 2019 saw the highest number of sedition cases at 93. 73, which is the second highest number of sedition cases in a year, were filed in 2020. A major reading from the data is that these cases have a pendency rate between 76% to 93% in the courts. Now, let's hear Amit Shah in detail. Rajdoro par कि अंग्रेजों ने अपने शासन को बचाने के लिए एक कानून बना था मैं इस सदन को कहना चाहता हूं एक ऐतिहासिक निर्णय इस सरकार ने किया है राजद्रोह को कंप्लीटली हम रिपील कर रहे हैं कंप्लीटली यहां लोकतंत्र सबको बोलने का अधिकार है राजद्रोह को हम कंप्लीटली रिपील कर रहे हैं मान्यवर और इस कानून में इसके साथ साथ अलगाव सशस्त्र विद्रोह विद्रोह विध्वंसक गतिविधियां अलगाववाद भारत की संप्रभुता एकता को अखंडता को चैलेंज करना ये सब को कानून के अंदर किसी न किसी राय बाएं तोड़ मरोड़ कर जोड़ते थे इसका कोई स्पेशल प्रोविजन नहीं था टेरिज्म की व्याख्या ही नहीं थी पहली बार अब इसकी व्याख्या हो रही है और जुड़ी संपत्ति को उच्च करने का अधिकार बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट claim is being misused must go but the data too proves that the contentious law has been in vogue since 2014 now to the consequent question why would a government do away with the law that it has enforced to ensure our sovereignty is unharmed the larger attempt is that we will be saying goodbye to the british era criminal laws of which sedition is a part and its imposition was a badge of honor for india's freedom fighters a proper reading reveals that there isn't much to read it is likely a very familiar case of name change in the indian penal code section 124a deals with sedition and under the new proposed law section 150 of the bhartiya nyay samhita bill 2023 will deal with crimes covered under sedition Section 150 does not mention the word sedition but provides for punishment for endangering sovereignty unity and integrity of India so the possible reason why we are given to believe that the sedition law would be revoked in reality incumbently sedition draws a punishment of life imprisonment or imprisonment which may extend up to 3 years But the new bill proposes life imprisonment or imprisonment which may extend to 7 years for endangering sovereignty unity and integrity of India what is in the name nothing and everything but in this case enhanced punishment